Hi everybody, it's Miss Gary with a story time for you today. I hope you all had a great holiday. We sure did. But I'm glad to be back with you reading stories. So today, since we're in the season of winter time, we'll be reading several books that take place in the winter. So one of those books is Bedtime for Bear by Brett Hillquist. So let's jump right in. Hey, bear! Ooh, yawn. He's still sleepy, isn't he? It was just after the first snowfall when Bear's friends came running to his house. Hey, Bear, come out and play! Bear rolled over. Please, we won't see you again until spring. No, I can't play. It's bedtime for bears. And he tried to sleep. But Bear heard his friends playing. <laughs> and Bear grumbled and closed his eyes. But Bear could still hear his friend laughing. Ha 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 he, he, ha ha. He could still hear his friends playing and laughing. Hey Bear, come out and play just for a little while. They're having a grand snowball fight, aren't they? Bear opened the door. Come on guys, I'm trying to sleep. It's bedtime for bears. Zip. Splat! Oh no! What do you think Bear's gonna do? Bear wasn't happy. Go away! Let me sleep! But then Bear tripped. He flipped and slipped and tumbled down the hill. Oh dear. Bear was wet. He was covered in snow. He was laughing. Hey, Bear, let's do that again. And they did again and again and again and again. Hey, Bear, follow me. There was snow to roll and stack. One, two, three. Ta-da! We made a snowman. There was snow to throw. Hee-hee-ha-ha! are -ha, having a big time, aren't they? Hey, Bear, we're tired. It's late. Isn't it bedtime for bears? And Bear says, how about just one more time? I won't see you again until spring. So down they slid. And now it was getting dark. Good night. Yoink! Yawn! It was bedtime for Bear. Hey, Bear! See you in the spring. I hope you enjoyed that story. So this was Bedtime for Bear by Brett Hellquist, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to see you again soon.